Yes, finally, finally, finally! So, of course, we're back with another Quake of Dragon Ball Legends video. I'm a little bit tired and relaxed because I've basically waited all day to record this video. So, of course, that all the new food plus I've been in the game right now. Um, I don't remember how many already. I know there's like Kaiware Man, like 10, 10 Man, whatever. Um, I barely know all the names. I know about them like for a long time because they've been like, I think the universe too. Give them like forms of media and stuff like that. Of course, Cyberman been being a big meme just because, you know, it's been called that. Um, I forgot about the other ones though. It was weird. We got the new power, power Battle Tower Goku model that I cannot speak right now. We got all the Cyberman, they all are EXs, which will confuse, the, confuse the heck out of me because when I was looking this up, I had found the um, sparking, I was looking at the sparking versions of it, and I, then I realized, I was like, oh, the all EXs could have the purple, of course, you know, aura around them and stuff like that, and they're EXs, and I was like, wow. They could be hero doing that, I could have got confused though, so yeah. Um, yeah, of course, we got a new Kalkin Goku raid, of course, right up right now. Right up right now, of course, can go to all the, um, all the new seven units. Um, this is gonna take a, probably like a little while though, but uh, because again, like, there's so many just units on here and stuff like that, of course. They all pretty much have the same Z ability though, like I think 35% to attack for since like episode Z, I think minions or in vice versa and stuff like that, of course, for all other ones. So you don't really need to switch up with the Z abilities. I think the main ability, of course, um, the blue cards. Yeah, hey, probably like the same animations or something different. Cause I'm kind of again no no previews. They supposed to be in cheese. I think of the Carter and stuff like that. Though of course, for, like all the preview stuff. So yeah, um, I haven't again. I haven't like really seen all of it just yet though. But um, yeah, honestly, like what Jinko man, Jinko you Jinko man. I always call him like Jinko, like Jinko, Jinko man. Well, not Jinko man, but Jinko man. I mean, they're all called man the other day. Just a different term of running in the beginning. So yeah, of course, I'm gonna go over all of them pretty quick. So of course. Uh, main ability is called Merciless Attack. Um, 35% of damage inflicted reduces damage received by 25% for 25 damage counts. 60 to 60% to keep recovery. Um, um, requirements of 10 damage counts must be executed. His unique ability applies upon effects this upon itself. Most character enters the battlefield, draws a strike card, of course, next. Um, activates, of course, three times, restores own key by 20%. Plus 30% of damage inflicted for 10 damage counts, reduces damage received by 10%. For 10 time accounts, team strike off damage. I think that's just a regular, just follow talk, but I'll talk about that like the abilities. Applies upon effects to self and his character in the battlefield, according to the number of um, defeated and battle members. Zero, to, from, okay, for on zero, it does basically. Um, on zero, for zero battle members, which is, I think is like one of those tunes, like basically the more battle members you have or less you have, even stronger. So that's a pretty good, like, you need to kind of divide them up though. Uh, stuff like that. Of course, ones can be like support. Those will be mainly for like attack and stuff like that. Like the free play, you know, up who, you know, slash, you know, um, at Nibana or, you know, um, Nibana squad. <laughs> but actually, it was really cool. I was thinking, I was thinking Applesauce squad. Yeah, I'm joking. You know, the Applesauce guy squad. The purple Applesauce, you know, eggplant thing. <laughs> I'm getting that, of course. But yeah. Um, yeah, read the, yeah, read the top part already. Yeah, plus only fixes so okay, yeah. Oh, I read that already. Zero, for zero battle, mem battle members, it does 70% of the strike inflicted for 15 time accounts, um, and reduces the received by 20% for 10 time accounts. For one battle member, yeah, for one, it's 80% strike inflicted. Yeah, 80%, yeah, 80% strike inflicted, 25, um, for 25% for already. 10 time accounts for two battle for two member battle members, 80% of the damage afflicted and reduce the damage for 75%. Pretty solid. Um, of course, hunting throw, it's um, for a special move. Um, deals major impact damage, plus 20% of the damage afflicted um, for 20 time accounts on, on hit. First new card randomly draws one new card, or starts own key up at 40%, plus 25% of the damage strike blast inflicted for 15 time accounts. His ability to civilize is pretty much the same. He's not that bad though, he's seen pretty, pretty decent though. Mainly like kind of like a more, yeah, like a more like, you know, basically the more battle members you have or not, basically he gets more damage and stuff like that. But overall, it seems really, very simple though. Very, very simple. Very, very easy to kind of go over though, stuff like that. Pretty good stuff. On to the next one with 10 new man. I don't know if I could drop those names again. Um, my ability on the top of I would restore the key about 30%. Um, 5, 50% uh, 50 damage of um, blast and damage inflicted for 20 time accounts. Increase the own damage. Um, card draw speed up over by 1. For 10 time accounts, requirements are 15 time accounts. 15 time accounts with it. Get it. Engage enemy. Okay, yeah, that's a okay, unique ability. Uh, but has long effects to self in this character. It's about a full short as one key up by 30%. Plus 50% of damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. Reduce the damage received by 25 for 10 time accounts. Increase the card draw speed level by 1. Can't be stacked. Pride and okay, the 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 the
time accounts. Um, ex they can basically can't buy stuff like that currently. Um, when the character is current for three for three counts, third the boss is fifty. For six, it's um damage and blast strikes uh, cards next. I guess draws next stuff like that. Of course, activate three times. We got stuff you can um, you know maybe draw him in to like get like a pound of stuff. Uh, so these guys are really just to help out like Vegeta and like get the new map and stuff like that. Maybe the new Cow King Goku. I think I pretty much put over all this stuff. Three time accounts, blast damage inflicted. Six time accounts, blast of cards draws next, which is pretty good. I think I said again. So they, all the Cybermen are basically like saying it's like a support kind of. So you can kind of like you know swap in, make it Vegeta or someone who's more blast oriented, and boom, there you go. And for nine time accounts, damage inflicted go up for um forty percent. Um, this blast strike could do anything, but special move is full power energy blast. Major impact damage randomly, randomly draws one new card upon activation. Um, this green card restores on health up by 20%, plus 20% damage up to 10 time accounts, and minus 10% don't blast calls for the same amount. So, um, yeah, of course, the abilities of stuff is all the same. They mainly are there to kind of, I think, to put the new Nappa. I know Kai King Goku's there. I'll put this put the new Nappa. It's gonna come out sooner, because I know there's gonna be like a Zenkai, then Kai King Goku. Because they usually do new, new unit, maybe like a Zenkai, then like, you know, really. Because the last move. But yeah, we had like him, LF, EX, of course, then Zenkai, but this time like some Nappa, the Zenkai, you know, we got LF this time. Um, yeah, probably it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, LF, EX, the Zenkai, new unit. So yeah, it's got Stretch and Topo. It was literally um, Vegeta, Kappa, got Stretch and Topo, and then new Sparking. So um, yeah, but Gion Kalipa, again, we're already confirmed coming out anyway via V Jump. So I guess Topo, again, like Topo should have just been, you know, with Evolution Blue Vegeta regardless. Um, yeah. I'm pretty good stuff. I was going to go like Kao Kao Man? I don't even know how to pronounce this guy. I gotta look it up because I'm gonna be like an idiot just pronouncing all these. Bio Weapon Menace for his main ability. It throws, um, water right there. Uh, it shows ally health up by 30%. Cancels on um, abilities, attribute downgrades. Pretty good stuff. Um, so Toy Diamond Counts must be executed. His unique ability. Um, a team substitution cut. Oh, that's kind of cool. So like, they kind of put all the abilities in their like passive right here and stuff like that for the kids. Applies the following effects to self and this character into the battlefield according to the number of Batman allies. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as literally the last one. Um, reduce, this one's a little bit different though. For zero, it's reduced the damage received by 30%. For one, reduce the damage received by 30% again. And draw, basically with this one, he draws a special card to um, next. Um, two or more basically um, 80% to the average of the day, 80% to keep recovery. Go special move card next. Okay, that was really good. Like, that's way better than the last one. Way better. Um, substitution cut, of course, for reduces damage received um, by 40% until combo ends when cover changing. 70% to the damage is inflicted for 20 time accounts when activated. Uh, of course, um, his special card deals major effect damage. Um, if the enemy of the downgrade, plus 25% of damage inflicted for 25 time accounts upon um, account. Of course, you know, counts on hit. 30% um, for his green card, 30% to damage afflicted for 20 time accounts, 20% of special move damage afflicted for 20 time accounts, um, cancel out number conditions. So basically he does, um, yeah, like canceling and downgrading, you know, out number conditions, and basically a uh, left after death, and, um, attribute downgrade. Yeah, attribute downgrade, left after death, and substitution cut, pretty much. Um, not bad. Like, this act probably is the best one, honestly. Like, I say, I call it like Golden Man. Like, not Golden Frieza, like the first. But, um, yeah, I can also remember with a different cut of paint, pretty much. But, um, yeah, I think they're probably like in the Hunt Center version. I don't know where they came from, because I know it's like different styles and race. I know Napa explains that as well, so it makes sense. I, I wonder if we can get like, like LF Krillin, though. <laughs> you know, the Destructo Disc, you know, after the like, Yamcha dies. We can honestly see that in the game. We already got a couple already as EXs, but we can see that as an LF or like maybe LF Z Fighters or whatever. And they're probably not, because Joe can usually does that. Or like, you know, Z fighters like this for Saiyan Saga, if they're going back to Saiyan Saga. No, because last year we had the, I think a year before, might have been last year we had like the free to play, like, you know, the EX is like, you know, Krillin, Yamcha, Tian from like the, um, oh, the Dark um, with, um, you know, from the Saiyan Saga. We can get, probably only get some like from the Saiyan Saga, you know, like this, you know, or Doku will do it first, you know, get all the free to play versions, get like LR, you know, the typical stuff. I'll do a copy man next. I, I can remember this one by heart because it's really easy to memorize the name. Uh, his unique ability is on Sailing Army. Um, it shows um, on key up by 50% plus 20% um, of damage inflicted by allies for 20 time account. Shows allies substitution cuts by 5 for my, by, by 5. Um, requirements of 50 time accounts must be executed. His unique ability. Oh, switch. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, inflicted damage. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, I like the last one. The last one was pretty much impressive for me. Uh, while his character is on the battlefield, the following effects occur when his character, um, yeah, when his, um, 
the following effects are applied to self when this character switches, um, you know, when this enemy switches characters, um, which a lot of people do that, like, in PvP record as well, so you can see the hot bot. Um, draw, like, you guys like, oh, these guys are so easy to get, but they're gonna destroy, like, the free-to-play of Blue Squad. I feel like we're getting, gonna get Zenkai Star a letter for the free-to-play game force, but I seem like it's going down, like, the whole Saiyan Saga route, you kind of see it going down. But at the end of the year, Mike is something Saiyan Saga related, I don't know, we can see, like, what Halloween he has in store. Because in the year of October, I think last year was, like, Green Goku Black transforming and stuff like that. Or whatever I wanted to do. Um, do a special cards next, of course, I had to make three times. Um, allies, um, which shows allies, um, health up by five, by five, um, activates five times. Pretty cool. Um, 20% of damage inflicted by an ally for 15 temper counts. Um, the plus following defense to self and scared into the battlefield. 50% of damage of like the time accounts reduce the damage received. Um, no, no, yeah, reduce damage received. Um, by 30% for 10 time accounts. We have falling effects occurring with all the enemies. Oh, well, all enemies. Um, we don't, if, uh, apply. Effects are, um, yeah. The falling effects occurred to all enemies when this character is defeated and puts enemy attribute, um, downgrade plus 40% for 40 time accounts. Same thing again, but uh, with MI's 8% to keep recovery for 15 time accounts, 5% to, um, substitution cuts. That's really good. Again, I'm impressed with Copy Man, and of course, the last, um, the last one, too. They're actually pretty good. And these last two, pretty much, basically. Um, Strike Blast, you see major impact damage, inflicts enemy with an attribute, downgrade, plus 50% to damage received by 15% upon counts, upon, upon activation counts, uh, and upon, yeah, act activated. Um, first green card randomly draws one new card, randomly draws, randomly destroys one card, plus 20% to damage for different 15 time accounts. I'm pretty solid though, again, I know, the last two were pretty much impressive, this one isn't that bad either though, it's mainly again like substitution cuts and um, switching and stuff like that basically, yeah, when you switch basically, you don't, you know, basically do a little bit more with that. Um, on to the next one, I don't know how long this time I'm gonna go, what, Ky Kyware Man? That's what I'm gonna call him, he actually like, looks cool, like putting with the blue and purple down there for the shading for the card. Um, Dangerous Blow, um, um, draws special cards next, restores on Kia, um, Kia, Kia by 40%, 30 to damage inflicted for 20 time accounts, 20 time accounts must be executed. His unique ability, oh, inflicted, oh, damage, oh, engage, inflicted damage up, um, a plus following effects to self from this character into the battlefield, 80% to, um, damage inflicted for fiction time accounts, reduce the damage received by 30, um, by 30, for 10 time accounts, 20% of the um, special move inflicted activate three times. My um, special move cost cannot be cannot be stacked. Um, applies falling effects is for, for its next part. Applies falling effects itself from this character into the battlefield according to the number of defeated battle members. One or more, basically, it should just have one or more, like one or two, you know, it's like three or four, or whatever. You know, three. And it's really weird because if one or more it makes sense, you know, three. I feel like there should be one, two, then three. But it would make sense, though. I did get your stuff. Uh, reduce the damage received by 20% for 15 time accounts. Um, for two battle members, um, draw, for two battle members, draws cards, um, basically draws special move, because we have special move card. Um, it's acid, basically does major impact damage, but 20% of the damage inflicted for, um, inflicted for three time accounts upon activation. Um, withdraws on key by 45%, plus 20% of damage inflicted for 15 time accounts, 30% to, um, push removes cause damage inflicted. Um, okay, it seems like you more of a damage inflictor, which is pretty good though. Again, the acid and stuff like that would be pretty solid. Uh, push move, of course, like that, like get minus for the enemy and stuff like that, like a lot of that. Pretty good stuff though, of course. Of course, guys, say the best, the last, the boy, the OD, the golden boy, the last resort, <laughs> the last hope of this character getting a new card, Cyberman, of course. But yeah, the green boy himself, of course, yeah, the green. Ga 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 and Gaga Ga Magician from Yu Gi Oh! Sexual. There's also um, the um, looking cards on X stuff to struck. Oh god, we already know that was gonna come up. <laughs> you see the opposite, but like, poof, a crater. There you go. I was throwing allies out there, then the character um, health up by 10%. Um, plus 20% of damage inflicted by allies for down six, <laughs> or 60 damage counts. <laughs> I think that's not really funny in my head. Uh, reduces damage received. Requirements of 25 time accounts must be executed. His unique ability, a plus one effects to sell from the, from the battle start, from the start of battle for 60 time accounts. 70% of damage inflicted. Reduce the damage received by 30%. 70% is key recovery. Um, of course, next one, the following, like, the following effects occur when this character is defeated. 30% of damage inflicted um, by allies. 40% of um, key recovery. Applies following effects to um, Dallas key recovery. Applies, um, applies attribute upgrade during substitution cut by 2 um, to allies. It puts all enemy with um, attribute downgrade. Plus 20% of slice damage and, um, re received. Uh, blast strike. Do you think his asset, of course, has major. Um, oh, dang. 
uh, deals major impact damage, 200% chance to um, string acid on hit, um, a strong acid on a strong poison on hit, which actually can be pretty good. Though, of course, again, go and get screen, don't go black. <laughs> yes, screw my boy. <laughs> I'm joking though. Um, 100% damage if you for time accounts, reduce the damage, um, reduces um, next damage, um, substituted, um, or yes, yeah, sub sustained by 30%. Can it be cancelled? But um, only activates, of course, when the combo is finished and stuff like that. Self destruct, of course, major um, deals major impact damage, deals major destructive self destruct damage. The self destruct damage does not um, depend on your own drug. Oh, dang, this is really detailed. This, uh, excuse me. This um, self destruct damage does not depend on your health, um, but deals um, a fixed amount of damage. The following occurs, um, the following effects occur while this character, while there, while there are three more battle members remaining upon activation. 70% to um, own awakened um, damage inflicted for three time accounts, all enemies, no, all um, enemies with no switching for three time accounts. Okay, that's pretty good. Again, that's what destruct is really good, but you might end up just killing yourself. The more battle members you have, basically, the more you're gonna do better. Because that makes him pretty solid, though. Again, the key recovery, um, he might be like one of the probably the, maybe the third one on here for me, honestly, because again, acid, like dealing acid damage, self destruct damage, really good. Only plus, you have a lot more battle members, but I think, I think it wasn't Copy Man, but I think Copy Man. Kaku man and of course ten to man pretty much kind of help out with that a little bit kind of delay that a little bit because you know battle members has more of them but i'm impressed with like these two copy man of course and of course government a little bit um i don't want jacob man's pretty okay to demands again like really good pretty good pretty good pretty good but i think uh, these top three are at least my, probably my favorite probably right here they're pretty good especially these two they're gonna be really good on the team though so yeah that's pretty much it though of course well in the seven minutes of course so yeah see you guys later though thanks so much for watching have a great day we're all good to begin though make sure i stay safe wash your hands god bless all of you if you're going out balls some more mats and club paper if you really need to get some hand sanitizer get some alcohol if you need some yeah i mean like you know hand sanitizer like alcohol so we got to think about all this info so of course you know, hate it again free play side bin squad wake us of course they're all pretty much good um of course the first one's pretty solid though of course pretty okay this one's pretty solid as well but these three are probably gonna be the best ones this is gonna give some pretty good stuff but these two yeah see um yeah um let me move it over see you guys there though again yeah see you guys there though again though it's out